I don't know how you guys do it. Like, we don't even have kids, so I can't imagine for those of you guys who have a ministry, who have a side hustle, and you have little ones that you're supposed to take care of. My goodness. My desire for today is to get the wedding videos finished. That is unrealistic and a half, but I think I'm gonna have to stay up all night tonight and maybe just trudge through the rest of the week, but I've got to get these things carved out and to the bride. It's been now one month and that's that's too long. That's the rub, that's the friction of life and ministry. Let's go to work. There it is. Uploading the final. This is what the bride asked for. I thought I'd do a quick review on it. Drone shot, naturally. Where are you? You're at the wedding venue, it's awesome. Note the sound design in the background. A lot of the beats are like really fast. Trying to get colors in this orange room as matched as best I could. Some we, some you win, some you lose. Uh, what I thought was cool was that uh, the bride wanted something faster paced. She wanted it to be speed ramped. Uh, she wanted it to be lighthearted. She didn't want so much sappy stuff. And that was hard to get by um, to my wife to get the approval. So my wife usually cries every time. She she cried on this one just for clarification, but. Just a different style. It really challenged me. So here we go. Here's where the images start to get pretty because you're starting to get uh, better lighting. There's your bride. There's the bride coming down the stairs. Awesome stuff. The reveal for her dad. <laughs> and she she was fun. She was a ham. I left that audio in there because he was praying over it. It had like a. It was just. It was so rich. I wanted her to remember that moment. This was a goof. He said he did not want this to happen. She did it to him anyway. And then there's the real reveal uh, for her coming down the stairs. Communion was awesome. All of these segments were so awesome, but it's hard. In, in wedding, you just have to find the, the prettiest and the most significant moments that you can and go whole ham on it. You just have to fire it in there. Tons of dancing. I mean, this is hours and hours. This is probably four to six hours of footage that's chopped down to near nothing. Check this out. So he shoots it and then it goes back into his hand and then it goes back out again. That was fun. This right here, super fun with the speed ramping all the way around. So had fun, speed ramping, pretty images, got the job done. Over here in Dublin, not Dublin, Dublin? Granbury, wow. Granbury today with Jake, he's way off over there, had to park. But I'm here in Granbury for two reasons. One, if you remember Jake, he has Heart of Many Colors. We did the whole like year-long shooting of what we called a documentary actually ended up being an evangelism curriculum series together traveled all over the place shooting that and then we came across a guy who wanted to write a song for it who has a songwriting ability and gift and so that's what we're doing today we're meeting with him to figure out if we're gonna shoot a like a music video or kind of what's on his heart I don't know kind of what's on his heart and then I have a real estate photo shoot this afternoon here in Granbury so that's today. Okay, and here we are at the house. Getting ready to take pictures of. I want to kind of do the outside first. It's about 4.40 in the afternoon. These aren't going to be the greatest pictures that ever lived, but it's when I was over here, when I was available, and and she doesn't necessarily mind too much about the, the lighting. So it'll be a little bit more golden, uh, but still kind of harsh light out today, as you can tell. And then, um, so I'm going to do this real quick. I'll show you some of the pictures if I can, because it'll be up by the time that you guys, by the time I post this video, which probably months out at this point. What else? Oh, I'm gonna fly my drone real quick while it's still kind of calm and there's not a whole bunch of neighbors out about. And then we're done. Get back in, drive back home, see Jesse. I got a body. Hey, looky here. 
We got the wide angle. It's been a few days since so we had the wide angle, didn't we? Taking pictures. I always try to take them at like a childlike level. So you want to see the world with wonder. All right, quick run through the home. Huh? Check this out, dual fireplace. Anybody looking? Anybody in the ballpark of purchasing a fantastic home? Blue carpet everywhere. Blue carpet everywhere. Wallpaper's not to my taste, but I, I dig this room in here. This room here's pretty cool. Close to you. Okay, I'm gonna pack up, turn off all the lights, get out of here, get on with my business. Real estate photography is not that hard, it's just like everything else. Just need to do a little YouTube research, make sure you know what apertures to be shooting at, what lenses you need. A lot of times you're trying to hide the things as much as you're trying to show the things. This one, fortunately, not a bad little house. After that last pass, it turns out that I missed the laundry room, so back in we go. I saw one more last light on. I was like, oh, I left the light on the closet. Oh, this is the closet. There it is. While well, you're thinking about this, would you guys be interested in a real estate walkthrough, not as a guru, just as a pastor working a side hustle? If you guys would be interested in that, let me know. I'll give you the full walkthrough next time, because I'm already done today. I'm going home. Tired of it. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I enjoy each and every second that we get to spend together. Thank you for giving me your time. Hopefully you're finding some entertainment, some value out of this. Love you. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. My dream got me leaning. You about to make a mistake. I'm so far gone,